Hello friends, so welcome. So we have uh, create a crowd for categories and also for the menus. Let's work now with the tables. If I go to the new table here, we have this this form here and we need to make some changes. So let's open the create blade inside the menus. And also the create blade inside the tables here we have a name so let's open also the table for tables and we need the name quest number a status and location now the quest number is going to be number the status and location is going to be a select options and i'm going to use uh, enums for that so Let's modify. We have the name with the quest number, and let's copy what we have the select here in the create blade of menus and paste it inside here. So, after the quest number, let's paste this one, change the categories to be status, and also change the label the id and the name the status now the name is a single so not we don't need the array here and also remove the mul multiple sorry and uh, remove this and this also this one and this one let's save it also copy uh, one more time for the location and say location here also select all status status and say location let's save it go to the browser and refresh and yeah we have this form Now we need to create the enums for status and location. So let's go inside the app directory, create a new enum, enums directory here. So enums. And inside here, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it table status.php and new one for the location. So table location.php okay create the enum now so add the php add also the namespace so app backslash enums and create enum table location And it's going to return a string. So here we need to add cases. So case for now the location is going to be so I'm going to say front and add front here. Copy and paste. Now the first one is front. The second is going to be inside. I'm going to say you can add how many you want and also this one inside and this is going to be outside okay outside let's save this and select all copy and paste in the table status now we need to change the name the name of the enum so table status and also the cases so first one is going to be pending okay this one is going to be available and
copy this and say here on a variable. Okay. And a variable here. Let's save it. Uh, and here now I'm going to say so if you don't know about the enums, I have created a new video in this channel, my two favorites uh, for Laravel 9, which is enum and also the Laravel's code with a database. So go and check out. And uh, in here, now I want to say make a for each. For each dollar sign, not dollar sign, up backslash enums backslash and here we are in location so table location and add cases as dollar sign location and let's copy the option here and paste it down there up here Now in the value, I'm going to add the location value. And here I'm going to display the name. So I'll assign location name. Let's save this and come here and refresh. And we have front, inside, outside. And if I open again the location yeah let's capitalize this outside save close this and do the same thing for the status okay just change the enum to be table status and also select all location and say status Let's save it, come here and refresh. And yeah, we have status pending and location. Very good. Now let's go in the table model and add the protected here. So protected dollar sign fillable. And we need the name the guest number also the status and the location okay and also we need to add the protected dollar sign cast and here i'm going to add an array for what we have, we have status. And I'm going to associate this with table status. Okay, make sure you import that class and the location. Okay, again here table location class. Let's save this. And we need to add also here in the form. Let's remove this because we are not uploading images here. So add the method, which is going to be post. And the action is going to be road admin dot table store. Okay. Also add the CSRF token and save. Close this one now and open the table controller. And uh, let's create also the request for the table store. I'm going to say artisan 
make request table store request okay open that table store request and change the authorized to true and add the rules here so i'm going to add name to be required and copy and paste this this one is going to be quest number this one is going to be status and also the location okay save close and let it inject here so table store request okay with that now we have validation so let's say table make sure you have import that table model table create and what we need we need the name dollar sign request name and let's copy and duplicate this now select the name and say quest number okay the second one is going to be status and the last one is going to be location okay after that let's return to the road admin dot tables index and save this come here and refresh let's test now let's say table one the quest number is going to be four and pending and also front let's say let's say store we redirected back so i think we have the table here so let's say refresh and yeah we have table name one four is the quest number status is pending and location is front let's create one more and the table two now here is going to be only two numbers available and inside let's say store okay and here refresh also we have available and inside Okay friends, that's it for this video because I think it's going to be a long video. In the next one we are going to display all the tables. Hope you enjoy friends and see you there.